Hi, I'm Oscar van Deventer and this is the heptaclaw puzzle. It's a very big puzzle with heptagonal uh, uh, symmetry. You can see the uh, white heptagon here, but uh, hepta means seven by the way, but we have a black heptagon at the other side and we have another 14 heptagons all the way around. So a total of uh, heptagons, this must be uh, a twisty heptagon uh, heaven and maybe the world record for the twisty puzzle with the most heptagons. But anyway, um, I designed this puzzle in the same vein as the uh, rocket twist puzzle which you have seen before and the penta mystery. And what I showed with the penta mystery is that what you see here is a colorful claw with five fingers and a colorful claw with uh, uh, black claw uh, also with five fingers and they move through each other. So the uh, hepta claw is a uh, version that has seven fingers. So if we look here and I hope you can follow from the white uh, uh, heptagon we have a colorful claw with seven fingers and from the pentagonal uh, sorry the heptagonal the other black heptagon uh, we have another of those claws and uh, the puzzle uh, turns by uh, well going through these uh, deep cut uh, turns and like any of these uh, uh, things they can be uh, scrambled uh, so here we now we're now midway and uh, part of the uh, claw is here and there is the other part and then we can make this move and because of its uh, big size and many pieces it's sometimes uh, a bit hard to get started. But there we are again and after two moves uh, we have the same geometry with the black claw and the colorful claw here. But we see that uh, the claw has uh, moved direction. So there is also one uh, parameter that I can change when designing this and it is of course the tilt angle. The puzzle works for any tilt angle as long as it's a deep cut and we have seven of them um, the geometry works. But at one sweet spot a discovered grip appears. So we see here uh, at the equator we see another uh, cut that uh, is functional and let me try and demonstrate uh, to you uh, how it turns. It, uh, as mentioned uh, the puzzle takes a bit of uh, uh, work to get the turn started but uh, almost there. Yeah. Yeah and there we are. Here we have this discovered uh, grip which is the eighth uh, cross section that actually turns. So and uh, because of that eight cross section we don't have only the regular way of scrambling this which is uh, after two moves doing the reorientation trick but we have this uh, scramble there as well and maybe there are even other ways of scrambling it uh, I haven't explored uh, that far. So my question to you uh, about this puzzle is about this size. The puzzle is very big, it's the biggest sphere puzzle that I've made. And why have I made it so absurdly big? Thank you for watching.